the containment unit. It is the Alcatraz for ghosts, a shiny red prison where the spirits never escape. Except, of course, that one time where, you know, <laughs> they all escape, but we don't talk about that day. As a matter of fact, we're proud to say there has not been a single containment breach or malfunction at any Ghostbusters franchise since that fateful day. Invented by Dr. Egon Spengler and Dr. Ray Stance, in the fall of 1984, the Ecto Containment Unit is a long-term storage facility for ghosts. But how does it work? With lasers. A laser grid, to be more accurate. But why lasers? Well, everything is composed of protons or neutrons, even ghosts. These protons and neutrons are made up of three quarks, and those quarks are bound together by a field of virtual particles called gluons, which are constantly popping in and out of existence as they travel back and forth between different dimensions. This popping in and out is what creates the mass of all things as we know it, due to the energy produced by these fluctuations known as a quantum vacuum, not to be confused with a quantum leap which is when a person can supposedly time travel within their own lifetime, a theory developed by the mysterious Dr. Sam Beckett, a former student of Dr. Egon Spengler, who has not been seen in years. Some conspiracy theorists believe he successfully proved his theory in a government experiment and is currently jumping from one body into another as he time travels through the last half of the 20th century. But if you ask our professional opinion, Mr. Smarty Pants accidentally blew his ass up and refuses to go into the light, possessing countless bodies to escape the icy touch of death. Does your loved one suddenly and inexplicably have vast knowledge of quantum physics and facts about the future? Then call Ghostbusters Northwest and ask about our Sam Beckett exorcism package with our special quantum leap financing plan, where you can spread the payments across your lifetime. But back to the containment unit. This is where the laser grid comes into play. When lasers make constant contact with psychokinetic energy, or PKE, they disrupt the gluons, decelerating the quantum vacuum fluctuations to a nearly frozen stasis, causing the gluons that have popped out of existence to stay out of existence. This allows us to indefinitely contain a ghost for two reasons. One, it places the ghost within a sort of pocket dimension, where they exist neither fully in our dimension nor in the nearest parallel one. Think of it as a drunk tank holding cell for disorderly souls. And two, with most of the gluons outside of our dimension, it significantly shrinks the mass of contained ghosts, allowing us to pack a lot of spooks into a finite space, like sardines in a can, screenwriters in a Starbucks, or passengers flying in coach to limbo. To help develop these unique lasers, Dr. Egon Spengler and Dr. Ray Stance consulted with their former college roommate, Wayne Zielinski, the future inventor of the Zielinski shrinking machine. While his shrinking laser was not yet successful in the physical plane, he theorized it would be effective within the spectral plane. And he was right. Wayne Zielinski would have most likely been one of the original Ghostbusters had his college girlfriend not dumped him for the charming parapsychology grad student Peter Venkman, creating too much bad blood between them and ending with Zielinski transferring to a different university. But in a twist of fate, Zielinski's cousin ended up working for the Ghostbusters as their longtime tax accountant after being rescued from the clutches of Gozer. To ensure the contained ghosts stay in stasis, they must always remain in constant contact with a laser. Should the contact be broken, the psychokinetic energy would instantly return to its full mass and explode out of the box, like a virgin on prom night, expanding out of control and causing irreparable damage to everything around it. To prevent this from happening, the containment unit uses multiple lasers in a crisscross pattern called the laser containment grid. Like a professional athlete, this containment system takes a lot of juice, which is why it's connected directly to the city electrical grid in which it is located. On the rare occasion of a citywide power failure, the containment unit has several redundancies in the form of backup generators connected directly to city gas lines. After a ghost is contained within a muon trap, it needs to be transferred into the containment unit. This must be done via an exact protocol or risk having a ghost escape back into the physical plane. Step 1. Unlock the system. To unlock the containment chute, you pull out to the right, then rotate up. Step 2. Insert the trap. Insert the muon trap into the chute. The red system engage light will turn on. This means the inner cartridge is now successfully locked drawing its power from the grid and not from the trap's battery. Step 3. Release. 
With the canister locked, you can now remove it from the trap's main housing. This is done by pressing the canister release button at the top of the trap's handle. Step 4. Lock the system. Slide out the trap's main housing and lock the chute by rotating down and pressing to the left. Step 5. Set your entry grid. Press the entry grid input. This prepares the laser grid for a new arrival. Step 6. Neutralize your field. Press the field neutralizer. This neutralizes the entrapment field within the canister and activates an electromagnet at the rear of the containment unit, which pulls the muons, and thus the ghost, out of the canister and into the laser grid, where the ghosts are ensnared, while the dense muons continue through to the magnet. Step 7. When the light is green, the trap is clean. Pull the release lever down. This turns off the electromagnet and, if necessary, activates a fresh laser grid for the next transfer of ectoplasmic inmates. When this is done, the green containment light will turn on, indicating another successful containment. And with that, you've successfully busted a ghost. If you have a ghost that needs busting, will you give it a call? Ghostbusters Northwest, serving the Pacific Northwest's supernatural elimination needs.